gun here. So found it a little ironical that a few weeks back I done made fun of Q for always taunting us with the release, this impending release of a honey badger style stock that's actually meant to fit on a standard AR. And I must have made a couple two tree jokes talking about how this thing was never going to see the light of day before I died and that I didn't give a shit one way or the other. Now, Q has been touting the idea of releasing a version of this buttstock assembly that will work on standard M4 receivers. But they've been talking about that for two years and it's never seen the light of day. Probably never will. And I don't really care anymore. Well, I'm going to take full credit for the fact that they actually did release this guy right before Thanksgiving. And I happened to order one. Actually, I ordered two. So what we're gonna do here is a quick unboxing of what I received. Their fancy slip cover. Show you what you receive if you should be stupid like me and order one of these things. So, for one, this is a buttstock. So, you cannot put this on a pistol. Number two, this will not fit on a honey badger. This is designed to fit on a standard M4 lower receiver. What you get in the box is the actual stock assembly, special adapter to be able to remove and then reinstall the new castle nut. And you get a buffer and a spring. So you will not be able to use a standard AR buffer and spring. This is significantly shorter, as you can tell, than a standard AR buffer. What it does not use, different from the Honey Badger, is the skinny little dinky spring that flipsy flops around and gets all bent up on shit. So the way it installs, unfortunately, I cannot show you, but if you go on the Q website, they actually have a pretty good video on how to install it. But it actually is pretty simple. There is a castle nut that's pre-installed on the assembly and it's just finger tight. You remove that and the tubey thing shoots right out. And this is basically your receiver extension at that point. And then you would still use the retaining spring and plunger that is in your lower receiver to keep your buffer spring and buffer in place. So you'll just screw this back in exactly where your old receiver extension came from. Then you can slide this guy back over. This serves as the retaining plate. So you'll, you'll ditch the old retaining plate. And then you'll, they suggest you put some Loctite, some, you know, uh, blue Loctite on the new castle nut, you can even use the old castle nut because there's no difference. Tighten it down about hand tight and then use like a screwdriver blade or something like that to get into here and just torque it. And they sit, they don't really have much of a torque limit. They kind of give a couple numbers, but the reality is they just say to get it until it's pretty tight and then let your Loctite cure and voila, installed. So since I'm not allowed to actually show you step-by-step step what you really need to do, I'm gonna take advantage of the magic of video editing. And reveal my fake ass honey badger one more time. So this is the black version of the stock. And again, this is a registered short barrel rifle. So I'm allowed to do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck y'all ATF. And as you can see, 
This makes it very compact with it fully collapsed, more so than with a standard M4 receiver. And uh, actually don't even look all that bad with the black on all the other accents and everything. Not the, I give two shits about aesthetics most of the time. And then to deploy, you just pull that guy right there. And you can see, um, now you can kind of see almost the full thing in frame, but there you go. Pretty nice product. Now, unlike the Honey Badger, this one actually feels a little bit more um, solid. These rails are not quite as flimsy as the Honey Badger. They are black anodized, which the Honey Badger is just all clear coated and everything else. So I don't know if that helps, but the butt pad is pretty much the same as what's on the real Honey Badger stock. But this piece here that's covering up the receiver extension is essentially what you'll end up using as your cheek weld. And it is a little bit beefier than the little dinky one that's on the Honey Badger since they got to fatten everything up in order to get to the outside of this receiver. So it's actually kind of nice. And I feel like this is actually going to work for me. So I'm very happy with this little guy. And uh, now... One of the problems that I had with the Maxim Defense was that it would not cycle this particular gun with subsonics. Um, so I want to see if with certain subsonic loads, I shouldn't say all subsonics, but I'm going to have to actually get this to the range and make sure it actually does shoot before I can tout it as the coolest thing ever. But um, as of now, I like the fit and I do like the fact that it uses a little bit more of a standard buffer assembly, um, at least keeping things somewhat traditional. And it definitely does lighten up the ASN. I'm going to pull out the scale and show the weight of the other stock and the original stock that was on here the last time y'all saw it. And then I'll even break out one of the Maxim Defense ones and show you what that was all about and uh, you can get a sense of what the difference is the weight. <laughs> revisiting this once I can get some range time, but uh, work and holidays and shit is making things a little bit difficult to have a life. So uh, it might be a little bit, but I promise I'm going to get back to you on this. And um, yeah, I'll even try and get some, some footage of making it go bang, uh, especially if it works. And if it don't work, I want to show you that too, because uh, I give Q a lot of my money, but I'm not going to suck their teats. And if their shit don't work, I'm going to call them out on it. So I don't care about how they'll massacre me on social media because I don't really use social media anyhow. All right, y'all. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching. And remember, I don't know who you are out there, but I got a gun. Oh, but before I do check out, make sure you go and check out Douchebag's Brother Dick using the link in the video description down below because uh, he's back with a vengeance and uh, releasing some good content again. And he's been cracking my ass up. I'm sure he'll do the same for you. All right. Take care.